Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to my first look video at Fernbus Coach Simulator. This, I must say, is a beta copy. This is a pre-release copy of Fernbus. You may see bugs. Uh, you'll certainly see things are a little bit clunky, and pretty much everything that you see is subject to change. Usual pre-beta stuff. Now, I've started in uh, Dusseldorf, and today we're going to take a journey down to uh, Cologne, Cologne. And I'm just going to show you around the coach first. We'll, we'll take a look at what the coach does, uh, the kind of things that you can expect, because a lot of people uh, looking at Fernbus for the first time, possibly wondering what the heck is Fernbus, and other people wondering, well, is it like OMSI? Is it like Bus Simulator? You know, what, what is it about? What does it do? I'll, take, I'll tell you basically about what I know so far. Right at, right at the start here, we're in Dusseldorf and we're in the actual coach station. So you're free to just kind of move around. You know, you can jump up and down. Um, some objects clip, some objects don't clip, um, like that one, for example. We just walk right through it. And this is the coach. There are two coaches in this um, beta edition. I don't know what the release plans are. This is the MAN Lion Coach Class C. Uh, the C has a double rear axle, and the other one that you drive has a single rear axle. Firmbus itself is a, uh, a coach that uh, is an intercity coach. A rough equivalent to that in the UK would be something like National Express coaches that go from city to city. And what they've done in Firmbus Coach Simulator is they've got more than 40 cities all the way around Germany. There's 20,000 kilometers, 20,000 kilometers of driving on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, Eurotruck is a scale of 1 to 20. So if you drive 500 miles in your truck and you drive 500 miles in this, this is going to take you about twice as long. There's a lot of mapping detail that's gone into this, uh, as you can see. The, it uses the Unreal Engine, and uh, the visuals are pretty good. You can set the weather that you want. Um, it has a full kind of weather system built into it. Uh, I've set it for a sunny day in, in, I think it was August or October, I can't remember. I can check that in a second. Uh, and over here, I mean, you can see it's nice and dry and sunny. It's a beautiful day. Uh, the traffic is stuck outside. This happens quite a bit at the moment. You tend to get these kind of um, blockages. I think they've got a bit more work to do on the AI vehicles. But, you know, like I say, it's pre-release. It's all going to get ironed out, hopefully. And uh, But, yeah, it's beautiful looking. I mean, that's the first thing to say is it's, it's lovely to look at. The visuals are fantastic. But let's go and take uh, a bit of a look at the coach itself. So... You can start, but you can enter. I've left the tutorials on there. You can turn those little tooltips off, but I'll leave them on for now. You can you can basically click with your left mouse button or press E, and you can see the door opens, and you get all the pneumatics and that kind of thing. Uh, you can click on these um, loading bays here. This is where the luggage goes. There's one here. The fuel tank is, the filler is right there. You can pull into the fuel stations, and you can fill the bus up, which is often what you'll have to do on a longer journey anyway. Uh, there are two more... Uh, doors around here, luggage racks here. I think there's two. That was oh no, there's three. Sorry, there's three on this. This is the C class. There's only two on the other one. There's three on this one. So they all operate, which is cool, as you would expect. Uh, let's shut this one and get inside. Oh, oh, and also the rear door as well. You can click on. There you go. So all of that operates. That's really cool. You can free to just walk on the coach itself. And uh, if we just have a look around, you can see it's got lovely executive like semi leather seats on it like a soft leather look um the detail is pretty good on these things i mean just looking around here you can't actually sit down in the passenger but you can see the kind of walnut effect on the floor uh very high quality uh modeling inside now to sit down you walk over here i don't know why there's always a guy here it's kind of weird but you press the c key you can sit down that chucks you into this view which is a bit weird it's a bit of a, a bug at the moment that should be an external camera uh, but I'll press the one key and just go back to a, a frontal view. So here we are. We're sat inside the, the coach itself. And you're probably wondering, well, is any of this clickable? Is it like Eurotruck? Can we click it? Is it like OMSI? Can we not click it? Etc. Good news is, most of it is accurately modelled and fully clickable. So, for example, uh, let me just shut the door there. There you go. And the acoustics do change when you close the door as well. Actually, I'll leave it open and you can hear it. I'll start the engine. So we start by turning on the ignition and then we hold the ignition down. That starts up the engine. Put the day running lights on with the L key and then we put the aircon on with the O key. Okay. Now let's close the front door and you'll hear the acoustics change on the coach.
There you go. Did you hear that? You can now hear a lot more on the of just like as if everything's sealed off now, which is cool. Now I can change camera view. So I've got that camera view. I've got that camera view. So they're like my mirror camera views. Then I've got a close up look at the control panel here. Uh, as I said, this is the air conditioning, this is the temperature, which we're going to bring back down. So we bring that down to something, say, a comfortable 21 degrees. Uh, I think this is the driver side stuff. So what we could do, and if you listen carefully, I'll put some cool air, you can listen. So you actually hear the, the fan come on. So this is very kind of omsi esque in style. Uh, these here are not clickable. I'm not sure if they're meant to be or not. This multimedia thing is not clickable, but all the rest of the controls are. And what you've got, you need to have these on for the passengers. So what you've got is uh, the toilet, which allows people to use a toilet. You've got the onboard wireless LAN, uh, so people can connect to the internet and check their emails and stuff. Uh, this one, I'm not 100% on. There's no manual at the moment, so I'm not 100% on that one. Maybe you guys will know what that is. So you would turn these on, you know, before you get down there. Uh, I'm not using the horn at the moment, there's a bit of a bug in that, where if you press the horn it seems to just constantly stay on. These are the lights, as you can see, and it, and it pops up this kind of useful thing, which is really cool, because you can see then uh, which lights are actually turning on and off. But well, you can see that, it's, well, it's absolutely great, I love what? that. Yes, not what's to That's the announcer. Okay, he's shut up now. He basically says in, in German, I don't know if they're going to convert that to English or not. I doubt it. It's a German bus in Germany, so I guess they're going to leave that. Same as OMSI as well. When you turn up, when the passengers arrive and you're driving around, they kind of uh, give you comments in German, so I don't know what they're actually saying. Uh, this is the um, information. It's this um, display, and then this one is a passenger display, which you can see above us. If I press the one key and look up, that's the passenger display there. So if you step back here, uh, you can see this is a bus that goes from Dusseldorf to Köln. Uh, it's route number 343, and it's due to arrive at 9.11. The next stop is Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf bus station at 8 a.m. So you're looking at like an hour's journey kind of thing. Uh, that will, we can just leave that on. It doesn't matter if we leave it on or not, we can just leave it on. One, two, three. I don't know how to map these. I don't think you can map these cameras directly. You have to go through the cycle of, uh, of um, yeah. And this is the door here. So you go front and rear doors. But I've mapped those to buttons. And then if we jump over to this display, this is obviously your dash. It shows that we're in neutral at the moment. Our speed is here. You can see the toilet light is on. Fuel tank is full. Temperatures coming up. The the usual stuff. Rev counter, speedo, blah blah blah. And then on the left side, uh, you've got the lights, which we put into day running mode, which I press the L key, but equally you can just spin like that manually. Uh, these don't do anything. And then you've got a bunch of stuff here. For example, and this is interesting, you can make the bus uh, rise at the front or sink like that. So you can adjust the ride height. And the same with the rear like that. You can adjust the ride height in the rear. Uh, it has kind of physics modelling, so when you're going over bumps, you'll see these springs compress in and out. Uh, hazard warning light, obviously, if you want that on. And uh, that's the anti-skid, I think it is. I'm not sure. Traction control skid. This is a full uh, all-coach raise and lower. Again, you can map these buttons if you want to. Uh, not entirely sure what that one does. Doesn't seem to do anything immediately obvious. Same with that one. And then finally, on the left control panel over here, uh, you've got access to a reading light, which is for you. Obviously, window demisting. Then you've got this, which is the side window up and down. I'll show you that in a second. And then you've got the screen. So if I just jump back, because I've mapped keys to this, uh, if I just jump back into this display and do a page up, page down, you can see I've got my own little window. And the acoustics, as you can hear, actually change, which is rather nice. And then over here, you've got powered sun blinds. So, in that respect, it's kind of like OMSI in that these things work, but not like OMSI because they're all motorised. You don't get hold of them and click them and drag them down. They just... they're powered. And if you look down here, you'll see that the control is being operated as you press the hotkey. So you can either, you know, bind it to something on your keyboard or your, or your, your uh, steering wheel, or you can just use the hotkeys, map the buttons to whatever you like, really. Um, what else have we got? Well, that's pretty much that. Uh, if you get up and then walk around, obviously you can click on the rear door like that, and you can open and close it if you want to. So you're free to kind of 
walk around. What we're going to do now is we're going to drive over to the passenger pickup point. Now, I think the passenger pickups is a little bugged in this version, so I don't think we're going to be able to pick up passengers, but that's fine. We'll take a trip. We'll, we'll follow the route anyway, even if I can't get the passengers. We'll follow the route, and you can see what it drives like, what it looks like, and what the acoustics are like. So what we do now is we put our foot on the brake. Now, I'm using my G27 wheel. Um, I've mapped the accelerator and brake and steering and all that good stuff. No track IR support at the moment that I could see. I don't know if there intended to be a track IR support. That's one thing I would really like, but whether they'll do it or not, I don't know. Uh, I think you can drive in manual or automatic, so I'm just going to put it in automatic. So if you pay attention to the, um, the dash though, you'll see it's in neutral, just above where it says MAN. If I press the plus key, you can see it goes into a like a drive mode, and you, you've got various stages of drive. So I think it's a bit like a, a normal coach in that you restrict the maximum gear. If you're doing a hill climb, you can restrict the gearing uh, if you want to. But I'll just leave it in that, get rid of the parking brake, and we are good to go. Now, if you listen to the engine acoustics, I mean, I'm sure these MANs are very quiet, but I'd like to see, or I'd like to hear rather, some better engine acoustics. Whether they will or not before release, I don't know. But um, they're not like what I would call top notch, not OMSI standard um, engine audio. Now, you can see we've got a heck of a traffic jam going on here. Uh, so I'm just going to take liberties and completely bypass all of this because well I'm sure it's rush hour in Dusseldorf but I can't afford to wait there are speed cameras in this oh the police are, <laughs> police are here uh, there are speed cameras in this but they don't seem to they actually operate it so it says you've got a ticket um, but nothing else happens currently let me try and get the external camera going now I'm going to snap out of this there we go it's a little bit Got a strange bug in at the moment, but it's fine now. Okay, so you know you can run red lights currently, you can run speed cameras, and it'll say, "Oh, you've got a ticket, naughty boy." But nothing actually happens. Um, I'm sure that's going to change. So I'll show you. For example, I can just drive straight through the red lights, and uh, you know it's not a problem. Now notice that the the coach kind of tilts as you drive around. So as you make a turn, it actually dips down, and uh, Hopefully we'll get an opportunity when we get down here to drive over a speed bump or something. I think there might be one at the, at the, um, the station here. And then I'll show you the outside view and you can see that the, the wheels actually compress in and out. Now it does have um, simulation of, it does have rain, it has weather systems. So if I was to set the time, um, I can set the weather as well. I can make it snowy, sunny, cloudy, rainy. Or I can put it on a dynamic weather. Now, I'm not really sure what the dynamic weather does currently. I don't know if it just changes it to whatever it feels like and it's dynamic in the sense that, you know, it changes but it makes it up, or whether it's actually looking up the weather from uh, weather stations for the city you're in. I don't know yet. Uh, I'll need to double check that one. Ahead of us is the bus station. I don't. The other thing I've noticed as well is like this guy here. Um, even though I'm completely and utterly not in his lane, uh, the AI kind of bounding box seems to be a bit weird. You'll notice that when I pull up at the bus station, uh, nothing will go past me because it kind of considers me to be in the way, even though I'm, I'm clearly not in the way. So that's something else which is obviously going to get fixed. Again, I'll say it again, it's a beta, you know. This is a pre-release uh, game, so I'm, you know, I'm thankful to the guys for allowing me to show you this. Uh, but just do bear in mind that it is pre-release and whenever you see a pre-release game things are often uh, broken and bugged out as you can see here I don't think he's going to move which means I'm going to have to sort of try and get into a spot where he will move otherwise we're in a bit of a gridlock and this is how the traffic keeps gridlocking at the moment uh, so we'll just, you know, we'll just go this way, it's fine Way. I think we actually need to do a U-turn though because we're facing the wrong way now so we'll just take some liberties again and we shall go back this way there you go, so the traffic's moved on now as soon as I'm out of the way they're all okay with each other ah, now here's, this, here's the little ramp here, I can show you this 
So if you watch the actual suspension here as I go over this, there you go. You can see the actual weight transfer and suspension is all low, which is good to, good to see. Let's turn this way. Now that blue box there means that there is a potential pickup route. Uh, we've only got one passenger by the look of it, or is it? Oh no, we've got a few there. So what happens is you pull into this and then it goes green like this. And that means that you can pick up passengers or this is your stop. So we put the parker brake on, put it into neutral. And I shall open the front and rear door. And we'll get out. And I'll show you. I don't think it's going to work because, like I say, it is a bit bugged. So you open up that and you walk over to a passenger and it says check in passenger with left mouse button. But when I'm pressing it, it's not working. Now this was working a couple of days ago, but now it's not working. So I think maybe there's a patch has broken something. I'm not sure. But what, what actually happens, What the whole point of this is you check your passengers in now because not everybody here is actually valid to travel. And what you need to do, it comes up with like a, a card and they'll either have a ticket and it'll say, oh, my ticket is valid to go from Dusseldorf to Köln at this time. And you go, yeah, that's fine. And you check them in. Or you say, nope, you can't get that. Or you sell them a ticket. So if I press the escape key, you get this kind of, um, looks like a, an Android phone or something. You, you click login. So you log into this thing. And you can see our route here it is Dusseldorf to Kern. It's 8.01. This is supposed to be leaving at 8.02. Uh, there are apparently four passengers to pick up here. And then four passengers are going to get off at uh, the bus station in Kern. And if you go to check-in, it gives you all of their names and whether they've been checked in or not. And this is the thing. I'm, I'm supposed to go through them one by one now and either say yes or no to each of these. Uh, but I just can't do it. It's just bugged out. So we'll just ignore that. We'll have to travel super lightweight, as in without any passengers whatsoever. Uh, we'll get back on the bus. I mean, it could be I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think it is because I've had that working earlier in the week, but now it's not. So why don't you click start ride? Uh, and, and that's it. Start ride. Off you go. It says hold here, you see. It's just like, I don't know. I don't get it. It's 8.02. We're supposed to leave. If I, if I get back out again and go and chat with them now, because I've said start the ride you see it'll just say I can't check them in anymore so I don't know what's going on it's just a weird bug which I'm sure they'll fix but we'll carry on we'll, we'll take a journey so we'll release the parking brake put it into gear check the mirrors and off we go sounds like something just broke something definitely just I heard <laughs> I heard the sound of smashing glass but I have no idea what, what just happened. It definitely sounded... That's the noise it makes when you hit something. If you collide with a lamppost or something, it makes a kind of broken, smashing glass effect. Uh, but I don't really see what I just hit, but never mind. Unless it was a vehicle. But he seemed to be behind me. So now we've got another traffic jam. Which may or may not clear when the lights change, we'll see. But if you look around at the actual modelling, like, it's pretty good. I mean, the frame rates are very, very good. And the frame rates are up in the kind of 50s and 60s, even in town, which is fantastic. You know, it's actually using the graphics card properly, which is something that uh, OMSI certainly wasn't capable of. But because this is an Unreal Engine, it properly takes account of the graphics card and uh, renders it very nicely. The rain effect, I have to say, the rain effect is, like, a bit meh. Everything else is good, like the lighting, the fog is great, uh, even the water on the ground, but the rain that falls is a bit kind of, hmm, could have been a bit better, I think. But when it hits the windshield, it looks really nice, and then if you press the wiper key, um, it wipes the water away. I'll just turn that back off again. And uh, it all looks pretty cool. Whether there'll be other paint skins or whether it'll just be the Flix Boss thing, I don't know. Uh, apparently though, modding support is going to be in the game, but it will only release, um, it will only come out after the game releases. Now to what extent there is modding support, I don't know. They seem to have, um, mapped out a lot of Germany, like 40 plus cities in Germany, so I don't know if they're going to allow, um, mapping. I mean, maybe they will, maybe people will be able to expand this into France or something, who knows. Come on coach, I'm sure you can accelerate quicker than that. Well, I'm just going to go. I can't be bothered waiting again. I want to show you guys the actual journey, not set of traffic lights, so we'll just carry on. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know what the actual modding support is going to be. But it's going to be there. Uh, the cockpit is, I'm told, pretty accurate for the MAN uh, coach class. And like I say, it's pretty functional, as you saw. A lot of the buttons are clickable. In fact, most of them are clickable. Stay there, pal. Thank you. Traffic offences. Ouch. Traffic offences are definitely there because there are speed cameras. And what happens is the screen kind of flashes red. And you get a speeding ticket. But again, there's just no effect at the moment. I'm guessing it goes on your record somehow. Because when you start the game, you have to create a profile. We'll just jump this as well. Let's get on the highway. Hello, Mr. Policeman. I'm sure you never saw that. You were looking the wrong way. This is not the coach you're looking for. But yeah, you can see it's kind of opening out. The people, pedestrians, kind of just stood around. I mean, that's that's a bit weird, that is. i got to admit, that is weird. Just a line of people. <laughs> a line of people. Three bald guys and three ginger ladies, or blonde ginger. Strawberry blonde, I guess. Uh, slightly floating off the ground. Uh, stood in a line. That's, uh, that's interesting, that is. If I saw that in real life... But in terms of the modelling of the city, I mean, look at that. There's, there's pretty cool detail going on here. So visually, it looks really good. I kind of find it hard to keep track of the speed because, um, you know, you can see the speed down there, but it's kind of hard to read the dial when you're driving like this. And I, th you know, I would like it if they took the Euro Truck approach and on the right there, uh, where the kind of sat nav display is, I'd like it if they. Um, if they actually showed, <coughs> excuse me, actually showed the speed limit and my speed overlaid, it would be nice. Interestingly, if you press the tab key, uh, you can customize the actual HUD. So, for example, if I don't want that though, I just click it, and then when I press the tab key again, like that, you see I don't have it anymore. But if I leave it on, uh, I can also put mirrors on if I want to. So again, it's kind of like what what your truck has um, but it kind of does it in a different way now personally I'm not gonna have the mirrors you can even have little tiny mirrors at the top as well these little ones up here look you have mirrors up there so pretty good functionality in that sense I like that but the just the sheer fact that there's 20,000 kilometers of driving in Germany um, at a scale of 1 to 10 that's a lot of driving I mean some of these uh, the, the autobahns that you go down, they're, they're really long, I mean, I'm just going to go from one city to another, I'll show you the map in a second when we, uh, when we just get on the highway here. Oh, look at the tilt, look at the tilt! Now, whether that can be solved by lowering the suspension, I don't know. I need to play around with that, but if I press the M key, you can see my journey. Let me turn around. You can see my current journey is from Dusseldorf to Köln. And it's quite a journey at a scale of 1 to 10. I've actually drove this route in real life. Um, when I was at Gamescom last year, I stayed in Dusseldorf and I, and I drove down to Cologne. So I know what the journey's like. And in real life, it takes you about, um, about 50 minutes. You know, going on for an hour. In game time, it takes you the same. But obviously, because it's on a scale of 1 to 10, it's not going to take you an hour. It's, it's going to take you like probably 10 minutes or something. Which is pretty good. Um, what speed are we doing here? Okay, we're doing like 18, 85 Ks. I'm going to stay behind these guys. But just look at the modeling outside. It's not bad, is it? It's, it's pretty good. In fact, the visuals are very pleasing. The audio, like I say, I'd like to be able to hear the audios a little bit better. I think that is something that needs a little bit of work on, I think. Um, but it has dynamic events in it, so you get, uh, and you can turn them on or off if you want, but you get traffic jams, uh, you've got speed cameras, you've got police controls. Now, police control is interesting. What happens is you're driving along, and it will suddenly say the police want you to come over for an inspection. And you pull over for an inspection, and they will check your paperwork. They'll check, like, your coach. They'll check if you've got, I think they're going to check if you've got any speeding tickets, maybe. Uh... They'll, they'll check your roster where you're driving. Who knows what else they check, but it's got that. It's got accidents which are dynamic, and it's got roadworks which are dynamic. So just on that alone, just the fact that it's got these dynamic events, which is something I've been 
asking for in Eurotruck for so long. They've got that in Fernbus, and that can really make it feel alive. Like, every time you drive down this route, it can feel different just because of that. Now, this, this turning, I can tell you this is accurate, this kind of highway connection here. You definitely do do this in real life. But, yeah, this, so this is more akin to, this is not OMSI. Like, if you think about OMSI, OMSI is about intracity. It's about uh, suburban driving, really. It's about taking people around the city or out to the suburbs and back into the city. Uh, this is very much intercity. This is very much taking people from major cities to other major cities, like the more long distance travel. Hence why they've got the kind of Wi Fi on board the coaches and that kind of thing. Okay, I'm just slowing down here because these guys, I don't know if they're merging or not. Yes, we are merging. Four lanes into three lanes. Just looking at the traffic, he's over the line though quite a bit. But they're, you know, they're, re they're reasonably behaving like they just merged lanes and did that okay. But, um, oops, I just turned the indicator on. There is an auto cancel on the indicator, but it's so quiet that if you actually leave it on by accident, um, you tend not to be able to hear it. Now that I can see it, whoa! Stop. What is going on here then? I can see up ahead. Oh no, look at that. Uh, so that's a dynamic event right there, isn't it? That's interesting, because the actual lane has been closed off. Possibly due to an accident, or roadworks, or something like that. But I can now no longer, let me bring the map up, no longer make that exit left. Which is a real pain. That's going to, um, that's interesting, because there's no other way around that. Hmm. actually get past here and get a closer look so we were talking about dynamic events and we've got one here and that's not yeah look it says lane closed there's a police car across it it's completely blocking the exit I can't get through there so now what's interesting though is the sat nav has not picked up on this so okay there you go it's kind of figured it out now it's rerouting me so that would make me late on my journey now, what effect that has further down the line, I don't know. Do you know what? You know what's really weird? Is that exit there was also blocked when I was doing that journey in real life. The next day it wasn't, but on one day it was. How utterly ironic. Um, so, yeah, the sat-nav has, has kindly updated itself, but I'm going to be late getting the passengers there. Is there a penalty to that? Uh, for me, it's going to have a knock-on effect, like I'm going to arrive and the passengers are going to be complaining. Are they still going to be there? Am I going to deduct, be deducted any money? I've not seen... There's a piece of grass in the road there. I've not seen any mention of money in the game currently. So I don't know if there's a kind of a currency, if there's any kind of career mode like Eurotruck where you get paid for things, or whether it's just some kind of sandbox driving around. I don't know if you level up. I think you do level up because on the profile it said... Um, yeah, on the profile it said beginner level 1 slash 4, whatever that means. It maybe means I have to do four journeys to, to rank up. And then it said, um, because I chose my home city at the beginning and I said I want to be in Cologne. I just picked it because I'm going to Cologne next month, just for a laugh. I picked Cologne. Look at this road. I mean, look at the mist. Look at that. Look at the visuals here. Doesn't that look really nice? Doesn't that, seriously, doesn't that look really nice? Um... Apart from that spawning vehicle. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, but I'm restricted to 200 kilometers. Now, at the moment, you kind of create your own routes. Um, I don't know what the plans are for release, but currently what you, what you do is you either do a kind of a free play where you say, I want to be in this city, and then you just drive, or you create a route like I've done here, and you can create a kind of a multi-stop route. I will show you this in another video. I'll show you how you, you kind of create routes and stuff. Uh, but I want to do it when I get that passenger thing working. There's no point doing it right now. Flipping heck, this is a detour. Um, but I don't know. When you, when you do that, how you're paid or how you get XP or how you level up. I know none of this at the moment. There's a lot of traffic coming the other way. Do you know what? If I could do a U-turn in the middle of this carriageway, I think I probably would. <laughs> Because this is like the biggest detour in the world. Next stop, 166 kilometers. Surely that's going to be getting further away. 
There's a rest area on the right and a fuel station. So I want to I want to kind of show you some other stuff. I want to show you the refueling as well. But I don't want to do that right now because we're already massively delayed. But yeah, you kind of pull into those areas there. And unlike Eurotruck, you don't kind of sit there and press the button. You have to get out and do something. Which is kind of cool. Now let me just see where we are on the map. Okay, can't actually see where we are on the map because we've gone completely off piste into the middle of nowhere. We're just on a massive journey right now. 100 kilometers per hour limit. That's okay because I'm doing 97. But yeah, whoa, turn. It has four seasons. So it has the spring, summer, autumn, winter seasons. Uh, in summer, it's like, you know, green leaves. In winter, there are no leaves and so on. Um, you know, the, you, what you would expect from a seasonal thing. And the I think the time of day is, is also mapped as well. So in winter, the days are shorter and some of the days are longer. I think that's mapped, but I will need to check to confirm that. Flare eh? just look how long this... I mean, seriously? This is like... Do you know what I like about it, though? I like the way that the roads are kind of undulating. Like, they, they're literally climbing and rising and falling like they should properly. But right now, I am 200 k's away from my finishing point rather than 160. So it's perhaps just as well I couldn't actually pick up any passengers because um, they've been a bit unhappy with this journey. But what can you do when the exit is, like, dynamically closed? So my plan for this particular uh, game is I'll I'll keep making a few videos in the run-up to release. I think release is planned... Uh, I think it's August. That was a speed camera. Did you see the red flash then? You've been caught speeding. Uh, I think the speed up, speed limit is might be 80 for me. I've just gone through doing mid-80s. Yeah, look, there's cameras above us. These things are cameras. Right, here we go. We can actually turn around. So that was a 100k speed limit dropping down to 80, and I got caught. Right, if this if this exit is closed as well, then I'm probably just going to cry in a corner. Because right now, I need to get off here, cross over the carriageway, come back and drive the other way, all the way straight in. The events, uh, like I say, you can turn them on and off. There's like a slider which gives you like a percentage chance of, of an event happening and you can slide that bar where you want. I didn't leave it on maximum, but I uh, I kind of slid it down to about three quarter position, I think. So we may see some more events on the way on this kind of fantastic, uh, unplanned, overly long journey between Dusseldorf and, and Cologne. Okay, here we go. 80 limit. I tell you what, the tip on that is you go around a bend. There's actually a river there, look at that. So the water's not bad either. Modelling on the water. Once you've got used to the controls, I'm pretty certain that you would probably turn off those little tooltips at the top. Uh, also, I have it on... Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? I have it on realistic driving at the moment. You can turn off that, which means you don't have to mess about with the ignition and all that kind of thing if you don't fancy it. I'm trying to work out why that guy's gone through on green, but they're all... They're all still going through as well. That was kind of weird. <laughs> right, let's have a look outside while we wait. Oh, dear. <laughs> they just had a head on. <laughs> I kind of expected that because I got the feeling the AI was going through on red. Oh, did that just despawn? Look, see? Bosh. <laughs> I tell you, writing AI is actually pretty hard. I think I'm going to have to um, take a shortcut here. Because they're just going to go into uh, head-on mode all day long. Just about missed that sign. Cross-country. That's what we're doing. Let's nip back onto the road. Uh, nearly hit the sign. So the AI is just as fun as your truck by the look of it. Perhaps even more so. Oh, the police. You need to go and sort that accident out, pal. What is that? 
just some kind of garage, just some scenery, I guess. Yeah, look at the vehicles as they come down the side of you. They 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 stop. They think they can't get down the side of you. It's pretty weird. Which means he's going to sit there all day now, so I'm just going to take a shortcut. We're not bothered about that. Cool. Yeah, they 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 give me a massive wide berth. I, I can kind of understand what they've done because it's only it's only kind of an early access. I think what they've done is they've made the AI just give way to you when you're within 10 meters or something just so that the AI doesn't hit you until they get a chance to kind of tune it up a bit that's the way I read things but it's got this side effect where things won't go down the side of you even when they, you need them to aha, look at this, what's going on here 100 it's got a warning about vehicles, I'm not really sure what that one means Okay, let's do... It has got cruise control as well. I didn't actually map a key to it. I should have done. Actually, I did. I think I did map a key. Let me try it. No, I didn't map a key. Well, actually, I did. But it's also mapped to camera by the look of it. I pressed the C key and it, <laughs> it jumped through the cameras. But I think it has enabled cruise controls because it's sitting me firmly at 78. So that's good. I need to just unmap that button for the camera because I've already got one mapped, so I don't need the C key. But you can see it's holding me at 78 kilometers per hour. Uh, next stop in 250. We've got 250 kilometers to do. Which is pretty nice. Coming down the other side of that road now. I'd love to see the journey that we just did. Look at that. That's crazy. And we still haven't made it to Cologne yet. Well, the cruise control is amazingly accurate. Yeah, the, basically the speed limit seemed to get reduced just where the speed cameras were, so that was a, uh, a bit sneaky. I'm just taking a look at the scenery over here. What, is that like a... containers or something? What is that? I think so. It's funny, because, you know, in Eurotruck, you, you're primarily concerned it with moving freight around, and definitely not passengers, so... Although there are bus stops in, in Eurotruck world, they're all empty and you just ignore them. You're looking at kind of freight pickups. In this, it's the other way around. There was clearly a, some kind of freight pickup point there, but it means nothing in this game because, well, it's all about moving people around. I think we're leaving the mist behind us. I think the mist was collecting in that valley look in the mirror, you see? But as we're driving here, it's, it's very sunny and clear. 1,000 metres, Hallenthal. Hallenthal maybe is German for rest area or something, or possibly a fuel station. I don't know. I can see it up ahead, though. Yeah, we'll visit that on the next, the next video, I think. I'll try and get those passengers working. I might email them and say, is this a, is this a bug at the moment, or am I doing something wrong? Uh, but I'll, I'll definitely visit one of the fuel stations. We'll take a look at how to refuel. I think that's also... I think that might also be where the... When you get those random events where the police want to pull you over for inspection, I think that's where it happens, is right at these kind of fuel areas. It asks you to, to pull in, and you you kind of pull up at a stop, and it goes through a series of checks for, on you, and if you pass, which I think you do, uh, you get to drive away. But I don't know what happens if you don't pass. Now, what I'm not sure is what the speed limit is now. Is it 80 or is it 100? For me, I assume it's going to be 100. So let's speed up a little bit. Let's go to 95. No, rip. Camera. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> I pressed the C key and it just like locked me into that camera view and then I just hit the central reservation. Oh man. Okay, I'd like to use cruise control but I need to unmap that button first. Oh, that is bad. Or just map a different button for cruise control, one of the two. The reason I wanted to use the letter C is because C is what you use on Eurotruck and it's kind of natural at C for cruise control. But I guess C is also camera. How did I do that last time then? How did I, how did I engage it and then get out of that camera view? You could hear the crunch when I hit it, but thankfully nothing major happened. Now why is it saying next stop in 100k? I'm pretty certain that we're a lot further afield than... 100 kilometers out. 
Well, this has been a fun journey. Flipping egg. I just wish I'd have had some passengers in the back. Like I say, if you've got the option turned on, they kind of mutter it. Like, if I'd have hit that then, they'd have groaned about that. And if I drive over a curb, they, they moan about that as well. You know, like OMSI fashion. You get these people that are really quiet, just kind of mutter, though. And I have no idea what they're saying because they're complaining in German. I kind of hope that we'll be able to replace the sound files with English ones, if you want to, with a mod. But it remains to be seen what you can actually mod in this. Like, can people build their own buses and coaches? What, what is the modding support? There's zero information at the moment. Right, that next stop in 100Ks is not even coming down, look. That's blatantly stuck. That's not moved for ages. That was on 250 and then it shot down. Now it's on 100. If this exit is closed, I'm going to cry. This is where we should have got off. You can almost be certain that exit's open now. Right, it's not that one. Because that will take you kind of eastbound. It's the clover. The, the loop in the clover there. What the heck? Why has that just disappeared? Are you kidding me? You can't possibly be serious. Why can I not... Oh my god, no! I, I needed to go down there to get... Oh my god. I forgot. Look, that's how the German ones work. You move into that lane and that lane allows you to... Oh my life. Oh my life. How do I get over there? I need to, <laughs> I need to drive over there. I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing like another 200 kilometers just to turn around. All these crash barriers. Are they? I presume they're clippable, aren't they? I can't just drive through them. Yeah, look, that exit's still closed. Must have been a serious accident. You know what? I'm just going to drive up here. I don't even care. This is like... No, that's not going to work, is it? If I... <laughs> If I drive up there, I doubt I'm going to fit. Oh, man. Help! i tell you what I will do. Let's do something really crazy. Let's block up the highway. It's going to reverse. Excuse me, don't worry about me. It's all good. I've got a license to do this. It's fine. Out the way, Mr. Merck. Thank you. Oops, sorry about that. See my insurance. Okay, so we'll go down the hard shoulder. And we'll turn around where I should have done. Oh dear, this is just not what was supposed to happen. But yeah, you have to get off on that exit in order to be filtered into the clover leaf, Which I totally remembered after the event. But it's all good. I'll do another U-turn down here. Right, we're coming up to it. I need to get in the fast lane, but I can't move over just yet. Oh man, where is it? Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Ouch. I just hit something. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about this. Just please just stay there. It's all good, man. Just stay there. I can't make this turn. This is too tight now. Rip truck. Truck. Rip coach. Okay. Spin. Squeeze through. Come on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We got it. Well, this is definitely unexpected. Now, I don't think there's any visual damage on the, the coach itself. Yeah, you see, that one is the one that goes eastbound. And this one is the one that loops back. Or, you can carry on and get back on the highway. It's all very convenient. But if you miss your junction, you're in big trouble. There you go, signposted. Yay! Climb up the ramp, spin it around, and head west. Nice modeling though, look at the grass, it looks fantastic. 
Do you hear the noises where you can hear like passengers walking around on your coach? The really weird thing about that is that it's actually, you know, I've got nobody on board and you can still get this kind of passenger movement. And it happens from the moment you get in your coach. That definitely needs tweaking because it's so bizarre to have these footsteps moving around when you've got nobody on board but you and you're sat down. Right then, here we go. Welcome to the Cologne. Now we'll see, I wonder if the Cologne bridge is in there and the train station, all that kind of thing. I wonder what they've actually put into the, uh, the city modelling. Look at that. Look at that traffic merge. It actually worked. It's a beautiful day. I'll tell you what I want though, I want more interaction with the passengers. Like one of the fun things about OMC is the fact they get on you can kind of interact with them. And that's what makes it fun because if you're dealing with freight, like freight is just, you know, freight is freight isn't it, it's dead. But when you're dealing with people, like you want different characters that get on your, your coach. You want to see different types of people with different voices and then different things that they do. I mean, bus simulator... Wow, those trucks are floating. Oh, I just got another speeding ticket. I don't even know what the speed limit is. Good grief. Oh, there's the there's the, uh, the bridge. Do you see it? I can see the Cologne Bridge, the green one there. That is the one that has the train station, I think. There should be a cathedral as well, kicking around. But I want uh, I want passengers that I can that are just fun, you know, so like different characters. Bus Simulator is if there's one thing that it does pretty well is is the different people really, really. Is the different people that get on board are quite funny, and you get these kind of drunk people who come on. Yeah, look, the twin, the twin spies of the cathedral. They've done it. They've mapped it quite well. I have to say, like the actual map editors they got are pretty good. What the heck is going on? Why is everybody going through and I've got a green light? What's going on here? I'm sure that everybody's going through on red. They probably are. They probably just didn't model that yet. But look at this. Visually, this is great, isn't it? This is really nice. Zoom out a little bit and see see the scenery. Steakhouse. There's actually a free camera as well that you can, if you press the scroll lock key, it kind of puts you in a free camera view, so you can properly fly around, which is very handy. If you just want to look, oh, I've gone on the wrong road apparently. I thought it was left there. Uh, right there it's not, but it's fine. It's all good. Straight through. I would like to see more people walking around. That's one thing I would like to see. Uh, it, it's kind of... It's a little bit Euro Truck in that there's not many people kicking about. Look, there's no way. There's no way he should have gone through there. They do not allow turn right on red in Germany. There's something, I think the lights are not working or the traffic is just ignoring it. See, green and he's straight through. Definitely. Definitely a pre-release thingy. Bon. Right, well, if, look, yeah, I just watched him go through on red, so they are ignoring the signs, that's fine. It's okay. As long as I know what's going on. Look at that, oh my god. Look at that, that is... Pretty accurate. Look, the train station's over there. The train bridge? My, my. The Gamescom Center is actually just over there. The Colon Mess is just over there. Just behind that bridge. That is really good. That is actually pretty good, you know. Somebody modeled this and they actually paid attention. I'm just going to go through. Can't bother wasting the lights. The AI doesn't bother. As for this bit, I don't know. I don't know how accurate this bit is. But it's very well done, I'll give them that. 
I wonder if they're going to have different coaches on release day. Or just the MANs. The MAN lion. Oh, come on, dude. Either go or don't go. Don't stop in front of me. This is really well done. This is like one of 40 plus cities. I also wonder about if they've got any expansion plans, like if they'll either do more cities in Germany or, or start to spread through a bit more of Europe, maybe. That would be really cool. Because of the name, it just says Firm Bus Coach Simulator. It kind of means it's a German bus sim, but there's no reason. There's like nothing in the name that says it's only Germany. They could easily spread to something else. Blimey, look at that. Fantastic. Right, we're almost at the destination. I don't know what it's going to do when we pull in, though. <laughs> I don't... Consider I didn't actually check anybody in. Yeah, look, we're on the other side now. So presumably the coach station is, is somewhere near the train station, which is actually just over here. Hang on, where are we going here? We're going right. Presume we're going this way. There you go. I think we loop around and come back, I'd guess. That would make sense. Taxis here. The buses are here. The train station is just there. Wonderful. Proper transport hub. Exactly how it should be. Right, which lane are we going down? That one. Blimey. That's a bit narrow. Cool. It says hold here. Right. Let's put that in neutral. Don't know what this screen says. Oh, it just says log out. 8.36 should have been there at 9.11. So he's a bit early. That's weird. How could he so early? Right, let's log out. So I guess it, it kind of figured out that we did the journey. Yeah, there you go. Passengers transported, zero. Tickets sold, zero. Stops completed, zero. It's all lies. Contact with Central, one of one. <laughs> Refueling, didn't do any. Ran out of fuel, no. Uh, drove 300 kilometers, got 140 XP. So that, that answers my question about uh, XP. Service, schedule arrival. I did that. Schedule departure. It says I didn't depart. That's wrong. Restroom clearance. Yes. Uh, put the wireless LAN on. Put the reading lights on. So you get XP for all the different things. Put the aircon on. Played the announcement, if you remember. So I got more XP for that. Uh, traffic rules. Oh, my God. Properties damage four. Pedestrians injured. I didn't, I didn't injure people. That's the main thing. Two speeding. Two accidents. Driving behavior. Uh, I drove on the road. Which is a good thing, I guess. Curbstones hit. Look at that. Steering misbehavior. I don't even know what that means. Speeding limits maintained. Hmm. Maybe not so good. Continue. So there you go. That's the Dusseldorf to Cologne route that I told you about. Uh, but you can see here, if I put it on free play, you can see here uh, what the current kind of world looks like. It's, it's pretty much all of Germany. And... Um, you can see the roads, like I say, there's just 20,000 kilometres on a scale of 1 to 10. There's a lot. Well, that's it for this first look at Firm Bus Simulator. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I shall be bringing you more very soon in the run-up to the release of Firm Bus Simulator. Until then, take care and happy busing.